Yo, what's going on guys? Shadow Elite here. It's time for another video and I'm talking to you today about Conception 2 for the PlayStation Vita in the Nintendo 3DS. I'm just going to give you guys my uh, quick thoughts about the game. Hopefully this can be quick. I don't know if it is. Um, but uh, mostly because I don't know when I'm going to get a review for this game because, you know, my playtime play is very day to day and um, I'm under the firm belief that you have to beat the game before you can review it that can come in a couple of weeks from now or that can come a month from now or you know whatever but I want to give you guys my thoughts in the game my immediate thoughts on the game after playing it for about a week now so uh, yeah let's just get this started let's get the first thing out the way first is that the Vita version is better than the 3ds version there's no content missing from the 3ds version or the two versions at all it's just that it looks a hundred percent better on Vita. I mean, colors look sharper, uh, look brighter and sharper. Um, the artwork, the character artwork on the characters looks way better. I mean, everything, everything is better on um, on the Vita. Uh, the the um, dungeons frame rate is more consistent, and smooth on the Vita, whereas on the 3DS, it's just it's just um, lowered and the graphics are a little bit jaggy. Just seriously, if you have a choice between the two go for the Vita version. If you can't and you can only play it on 3DS, it's not that big of a deal, but just, I guess, just know that the Vita version is the better one because the Vita version is the original while the 3DS version is the port, I do believe. So, um, with that out the way, let me um, start. Um, I'm going to do this in order as I would do a review. I'm going to start off with story and characters. First off, the story. The story is pretty much... Um, you're trying to protect humanity from these things called dust circles and they're bad news because they bring um, monsters and they're wreaking havoc on, havoc on humanity and you got these um, high school kids pretty much are the only things that can combat, c combat these, th these monsters pretty much and what they have to do is get along together so they can create star children that can aid them in battle. So they can go in these labyrinths and um, close down these dust circles. Um, the story is, is hilarious because of its concept that you have to get to know these um, female characters and you have to make star children with them. Since making star children is pretty much sex in one word or another, but it's not really that. You know, all they're doing is just holding hands and that's it. But there's a lot of sexual innuendo in this game, and I, I'm just finding it so hilarious. Um, Probably because I, I do like anime. Not just say that anybody likes anime, like sexual innuendo or anything like that. But um, I guess you could say some of my anime preferences are a little bit of on the etchy side of things. Uh, so I guess you could say this game was almost made for me. But I'm just finding it hilarious. But I can see why some people are really put off by it. Because it's a little bit immature. Because you're dealing with immature high school teenagers were raging hormones so <laughs> you know that, that, that the story is completely focused around that it's just that you're gonna get that a lot you know just like not sprinkled in but uh, it's 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 very much in your face at, at some point but uh, I gotta say I am enjoying it I'm not seeing anything wrong with it um, you it pretty much um, takes place as a visual novel when you're not playing the game in battle if you ever played a visual novel game um, it pretty much just takes place like that and I do really do like the artwork on the characters They really make it you know come to life as if you're watching an anime You know you got slight movement in the artwork and everyone looks pretty awesome. My favorite characters are Narika two big reasons why I like Narika. I'll let you guys figure that out and uh, Chloe and um, A little bit of Tori. I'm not really sure. I do like her whole black white color scheme She got going on but uh, definitely like Narika and Chloe uh, but yeah, other than that, I'm only up, I'm only been playing the early parts of the game. I, I haven't really gotten that far to really come to a decisive conclusion on the story so far, but I can, I, I can guess it's only going to be predictable. Anyway, let me move on, on, um, the music is like, best thing about the game almost. I mean, I love hearing the music. I mean, the music in the dorm room is awesome. Music in dungeons can get a little bit, um, it, it can go either way because sometimes the music changes. And sometimes the battle theme changes as well, which each dungeon you go to. But overall, the music is, is awesome. I mean, it's almost as good as a Persona game. It's, 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 it's um, tight, it's upbeat, it's very, it has a lot of pop in it, and um, I, I'm really liking the music. 
I, have to, I gotta say on that one. Um, let's move on from there. Um, pretty much the uh, graphics, in-game graphics are pretty good. Like I said, the Vita version it holds a slight, has, holds a slight advantage. Nah, not even a slight advantage. I don't know what I'm talking about. It holds a huge advantage in um, graphics when it comes to the in-game graphics and, and cutscenes. And the character models look great when you're talking to the um, um, female cast one-on-one. -on -one, and I, I really do like that. So, um, in battle is where the game kind of loses its edge because the battle system is simple. I mean, you just attack. You you get you attack the um, enemies from their weak point, or you can attack them head on, so you can build up more chain meters, so you can gain more attacks in succession. Um, it's it's pretty it, it's simple. It's nothing too um bad or um, good but I will say this I did find myself a little bit bored of battle that I just pretty much turned on auto battle for most of a dungeon and I was just like yeah auto battle works out just fine not that this is you know a bad thing but uh, it's nice to see that um, my characters can, are pretty good at fending for themselves especially the star children star children are actually pretty interesting because when you create them you can clues from diff different classes you got your um, sword user your gun user your archer uh, you know, magic user, um, healer, and whatnot. It's actually a really interesting class. I think called the Merchant or something like that. And you can summon the shop in the dungeons, which is pretty awesome. I, I would say because sometimes I don't like leaving the dungeon until you know it's completed. It's nice that I can get um a, a merchant in a dungeon, summon a merchant in a dungeon, and just like you know buy you know recovery items when I need it. I find that pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, um, aside from that, like I said, I'm pretty early in the game. Um, haven't gotten too far. I think I'm about to get the last um, female lead uh, for the game, and uh, you know that's pretty much my overall impression. I don't want this video to go on too long, but uh, as far as everything else, I'm really liking Conception 2 so far. I'm really liking it. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm enjoying the story. I like the dialogue, even though it's you know has a lot of sexual innuendo, like I said before. But it, it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's it's hilarious. I like watching it. I like reading it. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much it. If you're playing Conception 2, let me know in the comments area. And if you want to see my updates on the game, about what I'm doing and how I feel about certain parts of the game, follow me on Twitter. So uh, if you want to see um, updates on the games I'm playing in um, JRPG News as it's released and see my reaction to it quickly, follow me on Twitter. So guys, that's it for now. I will see you guys next time in the next video. Peace.